As a designer and creator, I'm always looking for ways to personalize the technology I use, align them with my aesthetic, and keep things minimal so I can focus on what's important. Over the past couple of months, I've been working on a super clean and minimal icon set that I think gives my iPhone 13 Pro Max a whole new clean look, and I'm really happy with how the icons have turned out. Hello, this is Semplist, and in today's video, I'll be showing you what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max and my custom minimal icon set. If you're interested in checking out the icons for yourself, I've left a link in the video description down below. So for my home screen, I've kept it minimal, distraction free and chosen a select few apps, four to be exact. Starting top left we have the Google Calendar widget which as standard in iOS dark mode looks clean and minimal. Over to the right I have four apps stacked in two columns. I have the YouTube app so I can easily access new content during my downtime in the evening. To the right of the YouTube app I have the Google Home app which allows me to control all of the lighting in my house. In the bottom left I have the Lightroom app which I use to edit all of the photos that I upload to Instagram. And then finally in the bottom right I have the camera app so that I can quickly access the camera if I want to take photos whilst I'm out and about. So in the dock I have WhatsApp on the left which is the app I use for all of my messaging needs. I can't remember the last time I used the standard messages app. Next to that I have the Gmail app which I use for all of my personal and business emails. To the right of the Gmail app I have Chrome which is my browser of choice across all devices although I have recently been thinking about switching to Safari. And then finally on the right I have Instagram. So I really like how these custom icons don't show show active notifications which keeps my home screen set up completely distraction free and further adds to that minimal look I wanted to achieve. The background I'm using is from Unsplash and I've also left a link in the video description down below. So since iOS 14 I've utilized the app library which I think helps with keeping my phone organized and allows me to only display the apps I use most often on the main screen. With this in mind I've organized my most often used apps into folders. Starting with the first folder I have entertainment which includes Netflix, Disney Plus, Apple TV, Prime Video and the PlayStation app. Next up I have a finance folder which includes NatWest, PayPal, Coinbase and Monzo. Then onto productivity which is the Nike running app, Unsplash, photos and YouTube analytics. It can seem a little strange to group photos and Unsplash into productivity but I use them for photography which can either be personal or business purposes so it does make sense for me. The next folder I have is shopping which includes Amazon, eBay and Domino's. Next I have social where I keep the phone app and Twitter. Next to that folder I have travel which includes Google Maps and Uber. After that I have utilities where I have the App Store app and my LifeX app which I will use sometimes to change the lights behind my TV. The folder below that is weather which just has the standard iOS app. I did used to have another weather app in here as well which was more local but I've just narrowed that down to one. So let's take a more in depth look at the icons. All of the icons are 24 pixels by 24 pixels contained within the Apple app icon specification. This makes them smaller than what you'd usually expect but it helps achieve that more minimal look. I've designed 60 plus icons for my favorite apps and in three different color variations. The matte black icons are my favorite and suit my aesthetic looking really clean and super minimal. I love how they match with the Google calendar widget as well. So the icons pair well with all widgets in dark mode and I would recommend switching to dark mode all the time if you're using these icons or these standard black icons. So next up we have the standard black colorway which again looks really clean. These icons in this colorway again look great when paired with the widgets in dark mode. And then finally we have the white icon set which again looks great when paired with an all white background and looks really clean. When I have used these particular icons for my setup I've used them in light mode on iOS. So setting up custom icons for iOS 15 can be difficult the first time and being completely honest it is a tedious task as you have to repeat the process for each app that you wish to change. However once it's complete and if you ever want to change the icons again it makes the process much easier. So to start customizing icons you first need to navigate to the shortcuts app on your phone. Once you've located the shortcuts app you want to navigate to the top right and tap the plus icon. Once you've tapped the plus icon you'll see a call to action that states add action. If you go ahead and tap add action you'll be presented with a few options. The option we're looking for here is scripting. So once you've tapped scripting tap open app which is where we're stating what we would like our shortcut to do. After tapping open app you next want to click app next to open. After tapping app you'll be presented with a list of the apps that are currently installed on your device. Either type in or scroll to find the app you wish to customize. So once you've selected the app you wish to customize in the top right you'll see a filter icon. Tap the filter icon and tap add to home screen. When you've reached this modal press the X icon next to new shortcut as this will remove the name under the app and help us achieve a more minimal look. Once you've removed the name tap the shortcut icon to the left 
So if you've downloaded my icon set using your phone, you'll need to unzip them before you can browse each icon. To do this, go to the files app on your phone, tap the zip file, and then this will unzip the folder ready for you to use. Go back to where you left on the shortcut app, tap the shortcut icon to the left and search for the folder you've just unzipped. Once you've located the folder, click into the folder and tap the search bar. So using the tabs along the top, you can tap the specific folder you want and begin searching for which app you wish to customize. In this example, we're going to use the PlayStation app. So if you go ahead and tap the app you want to use, and then click add and then click done and then the x in the top right if you now navigate to your home screen you'll notice that the app icon has changed and you're all done you now just need to repeat this process for each app that you wish to customize one thing to note is that when you go into the app you'll notice that you get this banner along the top every time you open the app now you can leave it this way if you like but for me it was becoming a little bit annoying so to remove this navigate back to the shortcuts app at the bottom menu tap automation tap the plus in the top corner and then on the next page tap create personal automation scroll down to app make sure is opened is checked and then press choose and then here you can scroll through and check all the apps that you've just assigned custom icons for and this will prevent the notification from showing sometimes you may get an additional banner along the top that will stay automation applied for however many apps you've customized and if you are getting this and want to change it all you need to do is go to settings scroll up and in the search bar type screen time when you're in screen time tap all activity scroll down to notifications at the bottom and look for the shortcuts app so sometimes iOS won't let you tap into shortcuts straight away so to fix this just scroll backwards and then forwards and you'll notice that you can now tap shortcuts once you've tapped shortcuts you'll now be able to turn off notifications by tapping the toggle and once you've completed these steps your icons are fully ready to go should you decide to change them again in the future it's just the case of going back to the shortcuts and changing out the images so optimizing your home screen and giving it a minimal look can help with your productivity throughout the day and avoid unnecessary distractions and i think this has been the case for me if you're interested in the icons and would like any particular apps adding then please let me know in the comments down below and i'll make sure to add them for you if you'd like to see a full review of the iphone 13 pro max you can watch that here thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next one